you, Simon? It's starting to sound more and more like a mystery novel. Earlier this week, a giant red stag known as the Emperor of Exmoor was reported to have been shot dead by a licensed stalker. But now, with no sign of a body and nobody admitting killing the stag, doubts are surf surfacing as to whether he really is dead. Phil Lavelle is in Rackenford, close to where the animal was supposedly shot. Phil, what can you tell us? Yeah, morning, you too. Uh, reports of the Emperor's death may have been exaggerated. I say may because initially we were told that he had been killed. Now we're told that there have been sightings uh, of the Emperor of Exmoor. So let's just remind you of the facts of this story. In fact, we've got some pictures that we can show you. It was uh, earlier this week that we were told that the Emperor of Exmoor, this magnificent nine-foot red stag, had been shot. We were told that the likelihood was that he had been shot by somebody who'd paid uh, quite a substantial amount of money to the landowners for the right to kill him. Uh, but not only because of the fact that uh, it gives great kudos to have killed such an animal, but also because the person would then have, uh, have in possession the head and the antlers, which would be worth probably around £2,000. We're since told that there have been sightings. Now, let's just show you the geography, because the death was said to have happened somewhere between where we are this morning in Rackensford and the A361. That was around about two weeks ago that the death was said to have taken place. Since then, we're told that there have been sightings in Winsford nearby in the Exmoor National Park. So we are, we are not going to see many stags at this time of the morning in this kind of light, but we are outside the very appropriately named local pub, the Stag Inn. And we're going to head inside in just a moment and speak to two men uh, who can give us a little bit more perspective, a little bit more insight. But first, of course, this has become quite a national story. It's captured the imaginations of people across the country. It's been on television, it's been in newspapers, and as such, it's uh, inspired a lot of debate. And yesterday, we spoke to one man who has uh, quite a strong opinion on this, Brian May, the guitarist with the rock band Queen. He is livid at reports that uh, the Emperor has been shot dead. Here's what he had to say. Take a look. I actually really do think this is a despicable act. I don't see how you can justify it. The animal's not edible. It's not doing anyone any harm. It's not diseased. It's not vermin in any way that you could possibly imagine. Um, so I don't see how you can justify this kind of act. And if somebody takes pleasure from aiming a gun and, and shooting a defenceless animal, I can only see it as a cowardly and despicable act. Well, we've come inside where it's a little bit warmer. We're definitely not going to see any stags in here, but we do have two men who can probably give us a little more insight. We have uh, Ian Little Granger, a local MP, and also Johnny Kingdom, uh, a wildlife uh, presenter. First of all, Johnny, I'm going to start with you. Um, you're convinced that he is dead, despite the fact that people say there have been sightings. Why, why is I, that? I, well, I think, um, I think he's gone, to be honest with you. I honestly think he's gone. It seems like to me there's quite a few people that have seen it. So I don't know yet, OK? But nobody's actually seen the body. There's no, been, there's been no, no proof no, of kill. No, no, no. I understand that. But I've been following in that area for a long, long time. And like I said, I there he is there. And I've seen him on the 4th, the last time, the 4th of October, because I filmed him on the 4th. And then he just disappeared and vanished into air. Unless he, unless he went under the North End Link Road and went on to the moors, I don't know that. I don't know that. You see, there's, there's, there's not hundreds of big stags like that around. Okay. This one's different, you see. Do you understand me? Look, you can see here, OK? See that? That's him on the 4th of October. You took this photograph? I did, yes. I did take that picture there. OK. He's an old boy. He's an old boy. Just very briefly, Ian, I have to ask you, you're not very happy if he is dead, that he is dead? No. I'm not happy because this is a, an incredible stag. Johnny's been filming these animals for years. This is the symbol of our area. They are a great tourist attraction. People know these animals by name and by personality. Very briefly, though, people are saying that he was old. He probably would have died uh, sooner rather than later. He'd, he, he was past his best days. Oh, he was past his best. He needed to be culled sometime, but not quite yet. And it has unfortunately happened. It's a shame. OK, great. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Well, I have to say that uh, until we have photographic proof that the stag is uh, still alive, or indeed, until we have proof of the kill, this will probably become one of those local legends that very much lives on. Thank you very much, Phil.